How's it going, everybody? Welcome back. And let's talk about how to automatically organize our Tailwind CSS utility classes. So as you know, the best part about Tailwind is that all of our styling is right on the HTML element, which makes it really easy to find and handle. But this can also be the most challenging part of using Tailwind just because our classes get out of control. I mean, we could easily have, you know, two or three times as many classes on this element just right here. So it can just get, you know, a little bit too much and really hard to organize. And so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using the Tailwind Prettier plugin, which is awesome. And we're going to be following these instructions right down here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to install this plugin. Okay, there we go. Nice and easy. And I'm also going to be creating a uh, prettier RC file. Okay, and we're going to do the next step. And I'm just going to paste this in right here. Okay, great. And so if we go back to our code here, and let me just close this right here. If I want to add flex and I save it, it's going to hop over here because there is a methodology to this that Tailwind has provided. And this is applying that methodology and that organization for us, which is great. So even if I don't know where to put, let's say like a, um, like a, like a text color or padding, let's do padding first. So I'll do like P dash six. And when I save, it's going to go over here, right? It's, it, there is an, a methodology that's being applied. So it's, you know, it doesn't matter if, um, you know, you don't know where to put these classes because, you know, you know, understanding the kind of the hierarchy of where you want to put things can be like totally crazy. And so if I want to do like text and let's just say sky and let's give it 500, we'll do 500 going to see that it snaps right into place and it's going to be on the outside. Or maybe if I want to, um, you know, like do like a different color for, you know, the small size, uh, let's say like text dash and we'll say purple and maybe 400. Okay. I save that and it goes all the way to the end, which is super cool. So all of these classes are just snapping right into place where they need to be. And that is what the Tailwind CSS and Prettier plugin is all about. So hopefully this helped, helped and, uh, you know, saves you a lot of time. If it did, go ahead and give us a thumbs up and I will see you in the next one.